So now uh, we will going to learn how to work with some properties of these HTML tags. For example, for an unordered list, if I would like to display a different kind of unordered lists, I could actually use over here something called type. And this is how you write property of a tag. Well, let me try to explain it this way, that each tag has some characteristics and some properties. Some tags allow to allow you to change some of their default properties. Some of the tags are predetermined. They don't really have much room for you to be able to change the properties. For example, there is a tag called B, U, or I. Uh, it doesn't matter how you use it. Bold will always bold. Underline will always underline. And italics will always italic. So there isn't much room to change. However, in a tag like unordered list, there is a room of, to change. For example, if you display circular bullets and if you want to display a different kind of a bullet, you can do that. So whenever there is a room for some kind of changes, customization, what HTML does, it does it with the help of something called a tag property. When you write a tag property, it must be written in the opening tag so we have the name of the tag followed by a space followed by a name of a property equals to a value of the property the value of the property must be written in the double quotes it's i mean i'm using the word must because that's what we prefer i want you to code right and learn to code right from the beginning then having to learn um, to write code professionally later on so it's always a good idea to step to start on on the right steps right in the beginning so let's say if I use a type called square, and by the way, it only has three different types. So um, uh, a, we use CSS if you would like to further customize and uh, display different kind of images as bullet points. And we're going to learn about that once we start working with CSS. So for now, the type is square, and I go under Run and I choose launch in Firefox and here you go you can see that the grocery list is now square instead of circular what we saw earlier on so another thing that we would like to now look at is if I go up here in the ordered list and if I say type equals to a and if I go under run Firefox notice it displays ABCD instead of one two three four which is a default so I can basically uh, do um, this to display the tabs in different order um, uh, the bullets in different order and now I'm gonna go back to my tutorial and instead of lowercase a I'll get to now use an uppercase a save the changes always remember to save the changes and I'm gonna come back into Firefox now notice it's all a b c d and uppercase this is how it was in lowercase before. This is how it is in uppercase now. Now I'm going to go back to my Notepad++. I'm going to change the type to Roman I. Okay. So the default is Arabic numerals, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you could change it to the letters, A, B, C, D. Or you could change it to Roman numerals, which start from I, like 1. And now if I refresh my page, notice you're going to display Roman numeral 1, Roman numeral 2, 3, and 4, and they're all indented right. They're all right indents. Now, similarly, if I want my Roman numerals to appear in uppercase, I could also use that by using an uppercase I. And notice now, now I'm displaying the uppercase Roman numerals. So I have that capability over here as well to start with a... Uh, with an alphabet with a Roman numeral or the default is the Arabic numeral now we will going to go into the nested list which is a combination of more than one lists a list inside a list you can say basically so I will now going to use another HR combination over here okay and this time I will going to put out another list which will going to be the combination of lists. So I'm going to call this one uh, my backyard. Okay. And what I'm planning on doing is in my backyard, I would like to identify through unordered list the main categories and my subcategories will going to come through my ordered list. 
So in my unordered list, let's say if I would like to put in here uh, my first list to be the type of fruits. And before I start my second list, I would like to put over here a nested ordered list. Now notice, how does the HTML know which one is nested and which one is not nested? This is how it comes to know which one is nested and which one is not nested. Look at it. We started the UL over here. We closed the UL down here. Okay. So UL is from here all the way down here, from line 46 through line 51. OL, on the other hand, is from lines 48 through 50. So since OL has been placed between the opening and closing of UL, therefore OL will be treated as an inner list, a list inside a list. So in the inner list, I'm going to just list the fruits here. So strawberries. And these are the three items I would like to put under fruits. And then I would like to add another list item over here. And I'm going to call this one vegetables. And for simplicity, to save some time, I'll copy paste the list. And I'm going to be. Um, using some names here like green peppers, red peppers, spinach, and let's put in one more so that you can see both lists don't have to have the same number of items. They're independent of each other. Um, let's say cilantro. So here we have um, a list of fruits and list of vegetables and let's go under Firefox to and notice the output and here's my output if you can see um, at, at the bottom here I have two sets of lists fruits and vegetables are the top items and strawberries raspberry blackberries are uh, items under fruits and green peppers red peppers spinach and cilantro are the items under vegetables now I can switch my lists around as well. For example, if I go back to um, my notepad plus plus and I make both of them OL. So I'm basically changing the outward UL to an OL. If I do that and I come back to, um, the, um, to the browser and all I need to do is refresh. Now notice the top list is also one and the bottom list is one, two, three. Now I would like to go back to the notepad plus plus and this time I would like to change the inner lists from OL to ULs so that you can also see that either of the lists could be placed inside the other list type. So now we will going to refresh the browser. Here we go. Now notice the outer list is one and two the inner list is the disk symbol. Now notice this is what HTML does automatically. If you go one level down in the unordered list, it automatically replaces your uh, circles or bullets with disk symbol, identifying it's a second level. And for the third level, it, it will use the square one. So it automatically does that. So this is, um, this is where I wanted to introduce how we can go about working with nested lists. Now there's another kind of a list which I will going to explore in the next tutorial along with a few few other tags. So that's all from from this tutorial. Hope you would have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.